Good evening, and welcome to the Daily News Roundup with Daily Mirror Online. You're with me, Nicholas Manuel. Let's take a look at our headlines. The East Container Terminal of the Colombo Port will not be sold off or leased out. The East Container Terminal of the Colombo Port is to be operated by the Sri Lanka Ports Authority. The Bogawantalawa Regional Hospital temporarily closes. Sri Lanka's Permanent Secretary to the UN, Mohan Piris, says that Sri Lanka remains concerned by the unabated progression of terrorism. A herd of buffaloes save a calf from a hungry leopard at the Yala National Park. The Presidential Commission of Inquiry probing the Easter Sunday attacks submits its report to the President. Now, diving into these stories in detail. Prime Minister Mahinda Raja has said that the East Container Terminal of the Colombo Port will neither be sold off nor leased out to any foreign countries. Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa said today that the East Container Terminal of the Colombo Port will be operated 100% by the Sri Lanka Ports Authority. According to reports reaching from the Prime Minister's office, the Premier expressed this during a discussion held with the port workers at Temple Trees this morning. Accordingly, the port workers have decided to call off their work to rule the campaign tomorrow. The Bogawantalawa Regional Hospital has temporarily closed due to inpatient treatment of a COVID-19 patient. Sri Lanka's Permanent Secretary to the UN, Mohan Piris, said that Sri Lanka, having faced terrorism for nearly 30 years, remains concerned by the unabated progression of terrorism in all its forms and manifestations. Addressing the plenary session of the UN General Embassy, he said that Sri Lanka was all aware that acts of terrorism, xenophobia, racism, intolerance, hate speech and disinformation are threats to international peace and security. A herd of buffaloes showed their strength of courage by saving a calf from the grips of a hungry leopard at the Yala National Park last afternoon in this rare and exclusive footage caught on camera by Andrew Fidel Fernando. This video has been widely shared across WhatsApp. <laughs> The Presidential Commission of Inquiry probing the Easter Sunday attacks handed over its report to the President a short while ago. The PCOI said that the report contains 1,000 pages and a set of volumes including statements recorded from witnesses. For further details on these stories, visit our website www.dailymirror.lk. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Nicholas Manuel and this was the Daily News Roundup.